Okay, this is a Etna M analog mixer. This is a short video to show you the uh, overall concept of the hardware interface. First, you have the eight channels. With the eighth channel that has a, a double function, if you double tap on the fader and see a rectangle here on the screen, it becomes the master output level. Double tap again and it's back to its function of eighth channel. For each channel you have a mute, solo, dynamics, engage, and insert engage of the hardware external insert each fader is the level for that channel On the right, there is a column of parameters. The first five buttons engage five sections of the structure of the console. The first one is for the limiters, overall limiters. The second one is for the compressors. Third one is for expanders. Fourth one is for the ducking channels. And the fifth one is for the hardware external inserts. You can enable each section independently. Then you have the selection of parameters. Limiter, threshold and release time. Compressor threshold, ratio, makeup, gain, attack and release time. Expanded threshold and ducking channels. Send and returns. The last button here is the ALT button that selects the second function for each one of the buttons, but more about this later. When you select one parameter, you can deselect it and the feathers go back to volume control for each channel. When you activate ALT button, they go to the second layer of gains, which are the dynamic gains. So you have a first layer which is the manual mixing and the second layer which is the layer of faders that you want to uh, automate so everything off these are the levels alt these are the automatable levels one button on active parameter and the feathers control that parameter not the volume anymore first five buttons on top engage the five sections of the console limiting compression compression expanders ducking and insert